Revelation 2556. From the 20th of November 1942. Prerequisites for entering the kingdom of light. Only the soul which has made the divine will its guiding principle on earth, which has purified itself of all impurities through this way of life and has worked in love on earth, enters the kingdom of light. The gates of paradise have been opened to her, the goal of her longing has become the most radiant abundance of light, she is united with God. This state requires a God-pleasing way of life, it requires the human being's full will to reach God. And as soon as the human being is moved by this will, his life will also correspond to divine will, for a will which is devoted to him is reluctant to do anything which is not good and thus the human being matures in his soul. The soul aligns itself with the eternal deity, and this signifies the worthiness of dwelling close to God and receiving his emanation of love. This blissful state can be granted to the human being when he dies on earth. The soul can be raptured from earthly heaviness and accepted into the heavenly realms if it was serious about its spiritual higher development on earth. If the human being's life corresponded to the divine commandments, if he practiced love, thus his earthly change can be called an activity of love. The human being's degree of love also determines the degree of beatitude in the beyond, for just as he has measured out to his neighbor, God will also measure out to him. Only that person can receive God's emanation of love whose heart is capable of love itself who has therefore likewise given love. Without loving activity on earth there is no beatitude, for God's love only flows through the soul which has shaped itself through loving activity such that God's emanation of love can be received by it, which presupposes a soul capable of love and active in love. A lack of love is also a lack of happiness and therefore a state of darkness, because happiness consists of the soul being flooded by brightest light people on earth are no longer aware of their lightless state, for their soul's degree of maturity is so low that they know nothing about a state of light which signifies a state of beatitude for them, and therefore they do not consciously strive for this state either. They live well but have no desire to ascend. And therefore they also do not know the benefit of light, but they feel well in the state of darkness and therefore they also don't know about the strength and power of love which can earn them unspeakably great happiness in the beyond. And without this knowledge they will also not change their life into a life of love and thus never be worthy of God's radiance. Consequently, these souls come away empty-handed, and they cannot attain eternal beatitude in the beyond until the spark of love in them has become a flame and thus a bright light shines in the darkness of spirit. Only then will the soul get to know the happiness of eternal bliss, which increases according to the soul's will to love, which is expressed in diligent activity of love for the suffering souls in the beyond. Amen.